Ever since the trackball days of the computer mouse, users have yearned for freedom from clumsy wires. A wireless mouse has always been an intriguing gadget for anyone looking to declutter their desktop. But what if you're a competitive gamer and lag means certain death? Do you have to sacrifice performance for the convenience that comes with a cordless experience? Are wireless mice worth the premium price tag for casual gaming? Today, we're going to harness the awesome power of the scientific method to answer that question once and for all. So let's dig into the details on the latest in wireless technology and settle the score on whether a wired or wireless mouse is right for you as a gamer in 2021 and beyond. For science! If you're a gamer considering a wireless mouse, input lag is probably your greatest concern. Input lag, or latency, is how long it takes between moving or clicking your mouse and that action registering on your screen. All mice, wire mice included, lag a little bit. And by a little bit, we're talking milliseconds. A cheap wired office mouse might have a report rate of about eight to 10 milliseconds, while a top of the line wireless gaming mouse might have a report rate of about one millisecond. Report rate, by the way, is also called polling rate and it's tied to latency, and we'll talk more about that in the very near future. Wireless mice require an extra step of encoding and decoding to transmit over the radio frequency they use to communicate. This can add a few milliseconds to the process. The 2.4 gigahertz frequency tends to be a little bit faster than the Bluetooth frequency, but most wireless options today will give you both. Over the years, gaming mouse manufacturers have developed wireless technology to the point where encoding and decoding happen fast enough that they don't really affect mouse performance. Or so they claim. You'll find wireless gaming mice from top producers like Logitech, Corsair, and Razer advertising sub one millisecond latency times in their product description. You might hear from competitive gamers that they can tell the difference between a few milliseconds. Whether or not that's true, understand that there are a bunch of factors that might affect the feel and performance of your mouse besides whether or not it has a wire. Polling rate is the number of times your computer checks on your mouse for positioning and button clicking. A mouse with a 500 megahertz polling rate means your computer is checking your mouse for input information 500 times per second. Doing the math, a mouse with a 500 megahertz polling rate bottoms out at two milliseconds report rate. Now, a mouse with a 1000 megahertz polling rate can do it in about one millisecond. But does higher polling rate make something feel like a more responsive mouse? Potentially, yes, but Gaming at a higher polling rate adds load to your CPU. If your CPU is not up to the task, you could experience skip, skip, skips and stut stutters when moving your cursor. Other system factors are at play too. The way you experience your mouse is also closely tied to what you see on your monitor. The more frames per second your graphics can deliver to your monitor, the smoother your gameplay is going to be and mouse performance is highly affected by this. All in all, the mechanics involved in FPS your GPU and the refresh rate on your monitor are likelier culprits for any lag you might experience, provided your mouse is in good working order. Nowadays, wireless mouse latency issues, if you do experience them at all, are usually due to radio interference on the 2.4 gigahertz radio signal that wireless mice and most wireless devices use to communicate. The latest advances in wireless mouse technology are working to address this issue. The other issue that differentiates a wireless mouse's feel and performance is the battery. Obviously, if your AA dies in the middle of a firefight, it's game over. Wireless mice can have anywhere from 60 all the way up to more than 250 hours of battery life. Many have a sleep mode setting that extends the life of a battery. Those may have a short lag when you first wake up the mouse after a period of inactivity. A number of wireless mice come with rechargeable batteries, docking stations, and even Qi support for wireless charging although you should expect to recharge these after 20 to 30 hours or so of continuous use. The weight of the battery can be a factor, especially in ultra lightweight mice that are preferred by players of first person shooters. The battery can give the mouse a back heavy feel, but you can always save a few grams by switching to a lithium ion battery, which tend to be a little lighter than alkaline batteries. Oh. Finally, let's talk price. 
As you may have guessed, they can range anywhere from $1 to tens of thousands of dollars. So, all that said, should you go wired or wireless? That all depends on how much you have to gain from that wire-free design. So if your setup or gaming style means that you are constantly held back by that mouse wire, then a wireless mouse might be right for you. Until next time, I'm Ben Tibbles. Thanks for watching. So you guys are gonna <clears throat> roll credits over this or? I'm, I'm supposed to uh, check out the links in the description below for some of my favorite mice available on Newegg. We can just cut around that.